Today we'll be visiting the temple of 10,000 Buddhas. Now it's very easy to miss the entrance to the temple as you're walking on Pai Tao Road. As you get to the end of the road, you're gonna see this magnificent gateway. That's not where we're going. Instead, do you see that yellow sign? Come, follow me. You definitely can't miss this sign. Come on, let's go. That little walk just took us to the foot of the hill lined with golden Buddhas. Come, let's check it out. As you can see, they're everywhere. All shapes and sizes and all sorts of expressions. These aren't even the 10,000 that are in their count for the temple. Isn't that amazing? There's so many of them. Temple of 10,000 Buddhas? More like Temple of 10,000 Steps. <sighs> but to reach the temple, you'd have to climb over 400 steps. Where's the escalators when you need them? Can you imagine, at the ripe old age of 71, Reverend Yut Kai was walking up these same steps carrying building supplies for the temple. Construction began in 1949, and it took eight years to complete the temple and another 10 to finish the Buddhas. As we get closer to the temple, you'll see differences in the appearances of these statues. In fact, there is meaning in each and every Buddha's pose and physique. When you reach the top and see the temple and the nine-story pagoda for the first time, I think you'll agree with me that this was worth every one of those 400 steps. Behold. The temple is perched high above Sha Tin in the New Territories. Even though it's called the Temple of 10,000 Buddhas, there's actually over 13,000 in total. As you can see, they're quite small. Over there is the corpse of Reverend Yut Kai. His body was embalmed as a mummy and covered in gold. Want to take a look? You first. <laughs> 